Welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Wednesday, the 21st of February 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. First of all, of course, let's have a look at the news. And US markets close to the downside in a choppy session overnight after the long weekend. Big tech valuation concern pulled the overall market down. Nvidia started the route with a downside down in excess of 4%. But of course, that's got to be seen in context in terms of how far this stock has moved up. They release earnings after the bell and that precipitated sell in that sector across the board and pulled the whole market down. US futures are slightly below neutral in early trading. Asian markets are generally following that weak US lead. The ASX is trading towards the lows of the session, around about 0.85% to the downside with materials underperforming. European equity futures are also pointing to a cautious open this afternoon, so maybe a follow through despite the fact that European markets closed at the low of the US session last night. US dollar, despite that equity market weakness, was surprisingly weak too, moved towards the bottom of the short term range. Consequently, of course, gold edged higher towards the important 2030 level. It was another strong session for copper which moved price over the technically significant 385 level. Just keep an eye on that through the course of the day. And all pulled back from its test of the 200 EMA with the EIA data out tonight, which should move oil price. Bitcoin continues to pause around 52,000 after last week's strength, uh, 52,200 in Asia trading to date. And end of earnings season will continue to influence sentiment. On the data front, we've got the FOMC minutes from the recent interest rate decision. That's going to be the highlight today and will be picked apart for any clues in terms of forward-looking Fed policy. Also out Eurozone, consumer confidence and that EIA, all stock numbers, both due on an otherwise quiet day. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Media, which were our chart of the day yesterday, actually pulled back towards the back end of the session. So didn't breach this important level 172. We are seeing buying coming into this and it is trading towards the highs of the session as we record this. Potential upside of around about 192 on this stock for a short term trade, probably up to $2 medium term if this momentum continues. On the FX front, Kiwi Swissy Core RI, you can see there we had four consecutive days of strength with retracements along the way we've had another one at the back end of the u.s session last night we can see in asia we've seen buying continuing so we're looking for trend continuation on a breach of 54.48 a uh, potential move up to 55 looks very much on the cards if we just pop this on a four hourly chart you can see this level hasn't been tested really since over 2023 and you can see there at that stage it did get up towards that 55 level there may be a pause about half up which is noteworthy uh, but at this stage worthwhile being patient for a breach of course it looks interesting trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now